Yeah, it's real common for us to talk about stem cell therapy, you know, but there's probably actually better terms than stem cell therapy. And I actually like the term cellular prolotherapy because realistically, whether you're doing pure stem cells or you're doing whole bo bone marrow aspirate or fat aspirate or lipo aspirate or PRP, let's be honest, you're just taking cells or cellular components and you're injecting them to proliferate cells. PRP proliferate cells, bone marrow proliferate cells, lipoaspirate proliferate cells. So the treatment to proliferate cells to cure chronic pain is basically prolotherapy. I mean, that's one definition of prolotherapy. So really, I mean, stem cell therapy really should call it cellular prolotherapy. So in general, we have whole blood, that's autologous blood injection, and people could research that, and you'd be shocked at like all the research on autologous blood injection, actually literally just taking blood out, injecting it into a damaged or injured tissue, and to stimulate what? The proliferation of cells. So it works great. It works great on the elbow, great on the shoulder. There's great results for TMJ, even chronic TMJ dislocations. So there's uh, even surgeons doing autologous blood injection. Then you could take a component of the blood, the platelets, so that's called platelet-rich plasma. So all you do with that is you actually take out the blood, you centrifuge the blood, and you get the small fraction of the platelet-rich plasma or the part where the platelets are. Platelets are a warehouse of growth factors. So platelets rush to an injury. They stop the bleeding of the injury. When they stop the bleeding of the injury, they change their shape. Much like if you spilled wine over a table, you would take the towel and you would change the shape of the towel to soak up the spill. So that's what platelets do. They change their shape to cover up the tear and the bleeding. When they change their shape, they release the growth factors. Fibroblastic growth factor to stimulate fibroblasts to grow and proliferate. Fibroblasts are the cells that make up col that make collagen, that makes up ligaments or tendons. Platelet-derived growth factor. Vascular growth factor that causes new blood vessels to form. Sometimes with injuries, when you have an injury, not only did you tear the tendon or injure the ligament, you might have sheared blood vessels. You actually need new blood vessels to form. So in other words, when we proliferate the cells, those cells in the tissue that forms needs blood supply to that area. So don't negate that effect as far as platelet-rich plasma. So that, again, works really, really good for chronic tendon injuries. We tend to use it when you have a labral tear or a meniscal tear. And the reason being is when you have a tear, you actually have to glue the parts together. So regular prolotherapy can do that, but typically you get quicker results for tears ligament tear, tendon tear, labral tear, meniscal tear, you know, when you use platelet-rich plasma. Now, when would you use lipoaspirate or fat or bone marrow? So those are usually reserved for more serious problems. Like we'll have people who've had multiple surgeries, right? I mean, you've had multiple surgery, man, the whole joint's a disaster. The hip's a disaster, the knee's a disaster because you had two surgeries already. You know, and then the person had a quote-unquote labral tear repaired by the orthopedic surgeon, but it didn't take. Or you had, uh, you had two knee surgeries, and now you have a big hole in your cartilage. Or another place we use it is where somebody needs a lot of prolotherapy. There's people that come to us, and they need, like, their whole spine done. Or they might have six or seven areas of pro that need prolotherapy. Because most people know we see people from all over the world. We do see people all from all over the world. So we're humbled by that. But, um, you know, I don't have a lot of chance to see them. You know, and plus it's so expensive to come. So we might say, you know, why don't we do this? We'll draw the bone marrow from the iliac crest because the iliac crest is a big reservoir. And we might take out 12 syringes, 15 syringes of bone marrow. So now I got 15 syringes of bone marrow. And instead of using regular prolotherapy solution, we'll use actually the bone marrow. So we'll use the whole bone marrow. 
In other words, we, we won't spin it down, we could spin it down, but we need all 150 cc's of it. So then we'll use that as the proliferant, and I wrote a pretty good article of why I think bone marrow is the ideal proliferant. Because if you think about it, healing depends upon the immune system. Most of the immune system is made in the bone marrow. So if we just take out the bone marrow, now it's in a syringe. We literally have the immune system in a syringe. We have growth factors, we have stem cells, we have progenitor cells, we have probably a thousand things we don't even know yet. You know, in other words, medicine is always discovering more and more healing elements in the body. So we take that and we inject it into the ligaments, into the tendons, and we use that as the proliferant. So we've had marvelous, marvelous results with that, with really chronic cases where they have a lot of body parts done. When you have a lot of body parts done, it means that you're not going to get, the healing isn't concentrated just in your shoulder. So in a sense, the amount of healing ability of your body is distributed to this, these various parts. Like if I have $100 and I have one person to give it to, they get $100. If I have six people to divide it by, they're each only going to get $16, $17. So you got to realize if you get seven body parts done, you can do that, but you may need, if you want to get a maximum effect, a maximum healing effect, to consider doing bone marrow prolotherapy versus regular prolotherapy. Now, people will say, well, doctor, why can't I use fat or lipoaspirate prolotherapy to do multiple body parts? Well, it turns out to inject bone marrow into the body, you can use a really thin needle. But fat's big, like fat's big, it's a big molecule. So you need a much thicker needle to inject the fat because it's very, very thick. So typically fat injections, stem cell therapy with lipoaspirate or fat is reserved for joints, really big joints, shoulder joint, hip joint, you know, joints like that, knee joint. So knee joint, hip joint, shoulder joint, sometimes the ankle joint, but you can't do like 200 shots with fat. Like you, you got to do very concentrated. And there are people that you'll do both, but typically you combine the lipoaspirate with PRP. Like normally you combine it with that. And then you might use some of the PRP then to use to inject the tendons or ligaments. So anyone with many, many body parts, very, very a uh, chronic problem, uh, times where you need massive amounts of repair, like an osteochondral defect, where there's a lot of damage. You know, like there's a big piece of cartilage missing. Uh, somebody who's had multiple surgeries where you know there's just a lot of damage, you might consider uh, cellular prolotherapy treatment. Uh